This is an example problem that we're going to cover on dynamic optimization um, and collocation methods. So if you go to apmonitor.com slash DO, you'll come to the uh, opti dynamic optimization course. And then we're going to be covering material here under the collocation. Uh, and this is the example problem, uh, this exercise, um, that we're going to cover for this, uh, this sample problem. Okay, so let me just zoom in a little bit. This is a uh, differential equation that we're going to solve with orthogonal collocation on finite elements. We're going to create a MATLAB, and in this case we'll also do a Python script to simulate and display the results. Uh, it'll take about an hour uh, to set this up and, and solve it. Okay, so um, first of all we want to solve this uh, 5 times dxct equals negative uh, x squared plus u. And uh, our initial condition for x is going to be 0, and uh, our value of u is going to be 4. So at steady state, when this comes um, to a final value, uh, dx dt is going to be equal to 0. And, uh, and then that means that um, x is going to be about a value of 2. And so we want to compare the solution uh, with 2 to 6 time points, and those are going to be nodes uh, for our collocation. And we'll report, report the solution at the final time for each comment how, how the solution changes with an increase in the number of nodes. Okay, so if you just want to download the solution, you can do that uh, here as well. We're just going to start from scratch just to show uh, how to solve this. So I'm going to create a new folder um, on my desktop okay, just to be able to put some of these files in it. Um, I'll call it collocation. Okay, the first thing I want to do is just put this model in there. Okay, I'm going to create a new text document and this will be my model dot apm okay and um, and then let me bring up this uh, page again and just be able to see uh, my equation um, okay so there's my equation let's go ahead and put this into my model and so I'm going to create a new apm model here and uh, I'll have a parameter um, and that's going to be a value of u and that was going to be, um, let's see if I can find, okay, value of 4. Okay, and then I have uh, in the variable section, um, value of x, and I give an initial condition uh, equal to 0. And then um, let's create a new equation section. And so I'll have 5 times dx dt equals negative x squared plus u. Okay, so I've defined my model file. Now, um, now what I want to do is go ahead and define, um, move this over here, um, let's define a new data file. We just want to go one time step, um, and that will allow us to create this collocation going from 2 to uh, 6. I'll just edit it with notepad, and I'll put time 0 and then 1. Okay, there's my CSV file, that's my data file. Um, now let's go ahead and create a new MATLAB script. Okay, and I'll just call this main.m and uh, open it up. And uh, as we open it up, uh, the other thing we'll need is to get the AP monitor. Uh, this will, these will be the libraries. Um, and just go ahead and download this uh, package. And you can save it to the desktop, for example, if you want to open it up, just grab the APM folder. That's the only thing we're going to need from this. Okay, and then we'll import it in our MATLAB script. Okay, so the first thing we'll want to do is just go ahead and clear um, all the variables, close all any plots that we might have, clear the screen, and then let's add um, just the APM folder to our path. Um, the next thing we want to do is um, go ahead and just define our server. So in this case, I'll just use the byu.apmonitor.com server and we'll name this uh, test. Okay, and then um, then what I want to do is uh, go ahead and just define a blank um, solution vector. Okay, I'll be adding to that in this loop. Okay, and then I'll do for nodes equals two to six. Okay, so I'm going to uh, change it from two to six nodes and then solve for um, each of these. Okay, so first thing I want to do is just go ahead and clear anything that was on the server. I'll give it the clear all command. And then um, I'll go ahead and load 
my model file. Okay, and then I'll also load my data file as well. Okay, and that will be CSV file. Okay, then I want to change a couple options as well. Uh, the first one that I need to change is just the uh, simulation mode. That's I mode. I'll change it to four. That's a simultaneous optimization. You could also do seven as well. It should work uh, equivalently. And then the other one I want to change, and this will be the number of nodes, the collocation point. And I'm just going to put that in there. Nodes is going to change from two to six. It's going to vary on the, um, on the, which cycle. And now what I want to do is go ahead and solve this. I'll give it a solve command, send the solve command to the server, and, uh, and then let me go ahead and just retrieve um, the solution. Okay, so that retrieves the solution. I'll just assign a new variable z equals y dot x as, as when, that, when that returns. And then um, I'll just grab my the one point that I'm interested in, which is the endpoint. Okay, so this is for the variable x, and I'll just go to the end point. Okay, so there's my solution and end, and now let me go ahead and just display uh, the solution. Okay, so when I run that, um, see, I'm going to go ahead and just open up my MATLAB, and so you can see the uh, final point. Okay, so that's for two nodes, uh, three, four, five, and six. So you can see as you get more nodes, you get more accurate, and then it converges to a, uh, a final value. Okay, let's do the same thing with um, Python then. Okay, and the one thing I'm going to need uh, for Python is come over here and grab the APM Python interface and uh, just download uh, this package. And if you just want to open it and just grab um, apm.py, you can do that. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and then put it into my folder. Okay, and then I'll paste it here into my folder. And then what I want to do is go ahead and just um, copy this main.m and change that to a main.py. Okay, to start with that as a MATLAB script, um, go ahead and, um, okay, that's not selecting it. Let me go ahead and right click, edit with IDLE. Um, this is the editor for Python. And then uh, what I want to do in this case is just um, modify it slightly. Uh, instead of add path, I'm going to do from APM import everything, and then also import NumPy um, as MP. Okay, so those are the two things I needed to import. Um, and I grabbed already the APM.py file. Okay, so that should be uh, ready. Um, now what I want to do is in, instead of declaring this as a blank like in MATLAB, um, I'll do num, numpy empty um, and that will be uh, five different values. Okay, so I'm going to store five different values from two to six. Um, and then I'm going to change, I'm going to add a counter here as well, uh, just zero and then um, I'm going to do four nodes in range uh, two to seven. So it's not going to do the seven. Um, but it's going to do two to six. Okay, it doesn't do the last, the last one. And then much of this is going to be the same. I'm just going to um, just go ahead and get rid of any uh, semicolons. Okay, and uh, okay, so I got rid of those. All of these commands are going to be the same. And then just at the end, I'm going to get rid of this z equals y dot x. Okay, and then that's just going to be y of x. And then I'm going to take the very last point. So I'm going to use negative one. So it's going to cycle around and get um, the last one. And then I'm just going to change this to solution um, i. Now I've got to put in my incrementer here. Okay, so I can get rid of the end there. And then i um, plus equals one. So that's i equals i plus one. Okay, and then instead of display, I'll just do print. Okay, so I'll save that. Um, let me just see if I've got everything here. I, th I think that looks um, that looks correct. Let me go ahead and just try to run it and see what I get from the uh, command prompt. 
Okay, so it's going to solve it. Um, again, we got the same answers. The first one is going to be with uh, two nodes, three nodes, four nodes, five nodes, and, and six nodes. So you can see we increase the accuracy but the expense of having uh, more variables and equations to solve as we include increase the number of, of collocation points. Okay, so um, let's just go back to this problem, just see if we solved everything here. Um, okay, so this was our, our collocation exercise. So we solved this between two and four, two and six nodes, and we reported the solution at the final time for each. Okay, so if you'd also like to go over this one other, um, there's some additional examples here in MATLAB um, on how to set this up. If you have a linear system, you can just do, a, um, instead of the solve, you can actually uh, set this up as a system of, of equations and variables and solve those simultaneously with a, a matrix inversion. Okay, so um, additional com, uh, content on orthogonal collocation on finite elements, and uh, next classes will be covering initialization and simulation.